Bosque Redondo Lake, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using worms. Caballo Lake, fishing for walleye was good when using minnows. Fishing for catfish was good when using cut bait. Carlsbad Municipal Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using live minnows. Chaparral Park Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using Texas rigged, green colored bandito plastic bugs. Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout was good when using salmon eggs and power bait. Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using white crankbaits. Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout was good when using salmon eggs and power bait. Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using white crankbaits. Fishing for white bass was very good when using rat, L trap lures, flicker shad lures, chrome cast master lures, and shad pattern swim baits. Fishing for walleye was good when using chartreuse grubs and silver spinners. Fishing for catfish was fair to good when using live minnows, cut shad bait, and cut cart bait. Green Acres Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using cut bait. Spring River Pond, fishing for catfish was good when using shrimp bait. Baton Lake, Burindo Creek, Bill Evans Lake, Carrizozo Recreation Lake, Chaparral Park Lake, Lake Van, and Spring River Pond at Peppermint Park in Roswell were all stocked with catfish. Elephant Butte Lake was just stocked with largemouth bass. And the catch of the week is, drumroll please. Joaquin Trujillo of Española caught a 23-inch, 5.5-pound brown trout using a shad pattern Rapala lure on the San Juan River. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report here on Crazy Radio. I'm Christy Lepis. Back to you, Keith.